transformation means is that in the lives that we leave, in the lives that we lead, um, are subject to our own, in a way, our own interpretation. You know, your life, my life, is not fixed. It is possible, in a way, to transform the reality that you have to a completely, a completely new one, which is in, in synchronization with an, a new image from which you are able to inspire yourself. Yeah? When you work on your mind, okay. your mind is the source of everything that appears within your own reality. So if you want to change your reality in any way, be it emotional, be it financial, be it geographical, anything, anything at all, the place that you need to go to is yourself, you know, is your own mind, it's your own deep, quiet space. And the reality of that is, it seems so logical, but it's so misunderstood. It's so misunderstood. Because the steps to actually get there require initially to do something that the whole society in which we live leads us away from. We live on the surface. Everything, our, our consumer world, leaves, leads us and leaves us, leads us and leaves us on the surface. Where it's only from the depth in your own soul that you're able to recreate a new world which is fitting to the real person that you are in, in yourself. Yeah? Now, so what I'm working towards in all the poems that I write is reality takes us getting across the surface of life and I want to make a deep scratch in that, a deep, hard scratch on that surface and say, hang on, hang on, you know, is the life that you live in all the aspects and richness that you have, does it really meet the true human being that you are in your own soul? Yeah? Is your life a real reflection of that intrinsic creative being in, in deep inside you? Because if in any way it's not, the question is why not? Why not? What is that small invisible wall in your own mind? What is that wall preventing you from, in a way, materializing who it is that you truly are? Because what we are is something quite magnificent and immeasurably more powerful than I think any of us actually believe. You know, when you start to tap into this, the deep power of the subconscious mind, the world, you transform the world in which you live. And the universe is actually, it's, it's a universe which just resonates with what it is that you give it. Yeah? So how do we get into that energetic resonance with the universe such that what I really am becomes apparent to the world in which I live? Does that make sense? Does it make sense? I want to hear it. Does it make sense? Yes, it does make sense.
It makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay? So, if you say to yourself, I want to start resonating, I really want that energy in myself, basically, I want to upgrade my inner energetic power, which is fitting to the human being that I really and truly am, okay? Who doesn't want it? Do you want it? Mm -hmm. I want it. Do you want it? Yeah. Do you want it? Mm -hmm. We all, of course, we all want it, right? But everything in the society that we live in takes us away from what it is that we actually want. So how do we go about doing it? Okay? The poetry that, that we're talking about, we're just like scratching the surface of where it is that where it is that it can actually take us to. Because to get to that space, you need to discover who you are. And we've never been told about it. We've all had our bruises and our bumps and our bashes in our lives, in our growing up, in our with our in our childhood, in our relationships, in our working life, in our creative. We've all been bruised and battered and